Hi, welcome to Teaching Moments. I'm Hillary. So today I want to share with you a couple of books that I have used to read to my kids. And these books are about dinosaurs and where dinosaurs fall into the timeline of the world. So I'm a person who believes in creation and I know the world says a lot of things about where dinosaurs came from and how long they've been around and all that stuff. But I never really sure that I believed it all. I wanted to see what the Bible said about it. And so I was super excited when I came across these two books. So I'm going to show them both to you at the same time. But as I go through this, I'm going to compare them. Okay. So first of all, these books I read to my children when they were between the ages of about third grade and seventh grade. You can do an eighth grader, like especially if you're doing like a your family together, all the kids together, and you might have a seventh or eighth grader that's the oldest. That should be fine. Um, but you can either read these to kids as a read aloud book, which would probably take you a couple of days. I don't know that you would want to do it all in one day. Um, or you can do it as part of their science curriculum. So I chose to do it as part of their science curriculum, but I really enjoyed this, these books. Okay, so the first one is called The Great Dinosaur Mystery and the Bible by Paul S. Taylor. Okay, and the second one is called Dinosaurs for Kids by Ken Ham. Ooh, that, there, is that lighting okay now? All right, so first of all, let me say a word about Ken Ham, because I know there's a lot of people who know Ken Ham, and some people really like him, and some people really don't like him. There's usually strong opinions one way or the other. I personally do not have a strong opinion about him. Um, I like him. I do like him and I like the things that he has to say and I like, um, I think he has like a whole answers in Genesis thing going on and I like what his books are. I've actually really only thoroughly read this one, otherwise I've just kind of flipped through other ones. So I think I like what he has to say, but I'm not like a super fan. Like there's some people that are just like, yeah, let's get Ken Ham everything. He's the best in the world. I still weigh and judge what he says according to the Bible, but, um, and anyway, so. I'm just going to review his book today as well as this other one. So let me just talk about this first one first because this this one is actually has a special place in my heart. I actually ended up liking this one a little bit better than the Ken Ham one. Um, but I think it I found this one on our very first family vacation. We went up to Mount Rushmore. If you haven't gone up to Mount Rushmore, by the way, I highly suggest it. It's a great national park and I think it doesn't get as much attention because it's up there in South Dakota and there's not a lot of, not a lot of uh, population up there, but take the time to head that way from wherever you are in the United States. It's, I, I thought it was a great trip. So anyway, we found this in one of the gift shops um, in that area and I really enjoyed it. Um, and I think maybe that's why, that might be why this one's kind of special to me, but I ended up always reading through the, this whole thing to the kids. And then afterwards, when we were done reading that book, I would follow up with this one and kind of take a look at some of the other things in here. But I usually didn't read this one word for word because it says, these both say very similar things, very similar, very similar ideas, but there's some different, um, stories and and things like that so um let's see her so i like this first one because i feel like it is it is simpler wording um the it's like shorter explanations but it that doesn't take away from the fact that it, it's still educational and it's still really good i love that this has great explanations and biblical references um, so that's what I really liked about this book. And I did like that it was simpler. Um, it just, it's, so it's easier to read to kiddos that are younger. This book, um, oh, that light, I'm trying to not have it shine on you. Okay, so this book was good too. The favorite part I liked about this was um, the timeline. Here, let me show it to you. The timeline, that's where the bookmark is here. So there's a timeline of how the world says the timeline is. And then if you flip it over, this is how the Bible shows that those events happened. And I loved that comparison. I loved that, um, just that visual there to understand it. I thought that, that was a great job. So, and then they also have, you know, very good clear pictures. Um, 
talking about Noah's Ark. But again, they, there is a lot more wording to it to where this one was a little bit easier. My favorite part of this one was I loved at the end, they told stories about um, dinosaurs that have been mentioned even in more recent times. More recent being like the most recent one was World War I, so it's like 1915, but it was still pretty cool. And there was other stories of legends of dragons and Africa, India, Europe, Middle East, and then it goes and tells you some of the stories in there. And this is the one about the one that they saw in um, World War I in 1915 that um, when a ship blew up, one of these creatures came up out of the sea with um, the explosion. So it was interesting. So those are the favorite parts I liked of that, that the Kinham's book didn't have. Um, but both have similar facts and they believe the same things, they believe the same timeline, and they both offer a prayer of salvation at the end, which is really cool too to get that, um, to have that opportunity to be able to say the prayer with your kids for salvation and, and lead them into that. It explains why, that's why Ken Ham has such a passion for it. There's um, understanding the genesis and how things began gives valid, valid makes the Bible more valid <laughs> and, and um, will help you to understand more of the Bible. So that's why he's so passionate about it. But anyway, I just wanted to share those two books with you. Like I said, my personal favorite. I love this one. It's so close to my heart. Um, but yeah, if you are wondering about the dinosaurs and where it fell, and if you have a belief of creation as well, or if you would just like to check it out anyway, I would highly suggest either of those books are really great books. So I hope that your family enjoys it as much as my family did. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to click like and subscribe to my channel to get notifications anytime I post a new video. Thank you.